Hello, this is Mr. Henry. Today we're looking at lesson 1.2, variables and expressions. So, first off, the essential question today is, well, how do I evaluate a variable expression? So we're going to look at today evaluating, which is a new vocab word, variable expressions, also a new vocab word. So let's look at our vocabulary. First off, a variable. Well, a variable is a letter, A, B, C, D, Z, X, Q, any letter used to represent one or more numbers. So I could have, for example, a variable of X, R, Z, Q. Any of those could represent a letter or could represent a number. Secondly, a variable expression. A variable expression is an expression made up of letters, numbers, and operations. And I have an example here. For example, 3 plus G. Notice there's no equal sign in there. Just letters, numbers, and operations like add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Finally, our last vocab word is to evaluate. To so evaluate an expression means that we want to substitute the values for the variable, then simplify. Okay, now let's see how these all come into play in our problems. So starting off with example one, we want to evaluate variable expressions using addition and subtraction. So, evaluate a plus 4 when a equals 3. So evaluate means, if you remember, substitute values for the variable. Meaning, since a equals 3, in our problem here, we're going to start by putting, well, a 3 in for a. Since those two things are considered equal, 3 is the same as a, plus 4, now we know how to do that problem. 3 plus 4 gives us 7. And right there, we're done. We evaluated a plus 4 when a equals 3 we got an answer of 7. Okay. Let's look at a second example. Example B. We're going to evaluate y minus 2 when y equals 6. Again, since y equals 6, that means 6 equals y. It works both ways. So y is the same thing as 6 minus Two. So when I evaluate my expression, I substitute for the variable, because y equals 6. Then I do the math. 6 minus 2. Well, 6 minus 2 is 4. And I'm done. That is the solution to my expression. Okay, now let's see what happens with multiply and divide. So example two, we want to evaluate variable expressions again, this time with multiply and divide. So, first expression here says evaluate 8x when x equals 2. Now, this may be uncommon notation. When you see a letter right next to a number, so for example, 8x, that means this is a multiply. That means 8 times x. So, some people think it's a good idea, they rewrite it as 8 times x. Now you know what to do. So, since x equals 2, this really means instead of 8 times x, it means 8 times 2. Multiply, and you're done. 8 times 2 is 16. Pretty simple. Okay. Now, I want you to try one of these. This one will be divide. We'll have w divided by 3 when w equals 27. So when you divide this, remember that w is 27. So if you could, give this a shot. Hit pause, and then when you're ready to continue, hit play again. Okay, so you had a chance to try this out. Let's see what you got. Well, since w is 27, w is 27 over 3, divided by 3. Well, let's see, 27 divided by 3, hmm, well, 27, 3 goes into 27 9 
times, exactly 9 times. That's what happens when you divide. 27 divided by 3 is 9. Okay? So, the last thing we have to look at is evaluating expressions with two variables. So far, all of our problems have had one variable, just a w. But what happens if we have, for example, example 3 here, two variables? Here it says, use the expression g plus a. Notice there's two variables. g plus a to figure the number of points earned by a hockey player with g goals, I'm sorry, with eight goals, and 12 <gasps> assists. So we got eight goals and 12 assists. So what do you think the G and the A stand for? If you guessed goals, eight goals, and 12 assists, well, that's the G and that's the A. So G plus A, goals plus assists, would be, well, eight plus 12. When you add your 8 plus 12, you should get 20. And you're done. Okay? So this has been Lesson 1.2. I hope to see you again later. Thank you. Bye-bye.